guys, it's me Brooke, and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that we have for our dog, and so I'm super excited, and let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we have for our dog is um, his service dog vest. This is his service dog and training vest. Um, we put it on him whenever we go out to like stores and things. So, yeah, we're going to get a little patch to go right here that says, please pet, because um, he needs to be social. So, there's that. It's made for a dick, bigger dog, but he's not that big yet, so it's kind of big on him. So, next thing that we have for him is his shot color, but he has that on. And then we have a little remote, but this is all his, like, his, like little neck thingy for it, um, some stickers, um, this manual. So, yeah, we have a shot collar. Um, next thing we have is this 30-foot um, rope. I think it's 30 feet, 30 or 50 feet, um, but... What you do is it's to teach the dog come. We've already taught him come. But, yeah, it's to teach your dog to come. We basically just use this. Um, what we do is we clip him and then, or, like, put him on this leash. And then what we'll do is we'll, like, tie it to a tree at the park so he can't, he can run really far and play, but he can't run into the road and we don't have to be supervising him as much. So that's really nice. Next thing we have is this America's number one dog shampoo brand, Extra Gentle, Extra Gentle Whitening Shampoo. And um, this is actually, we actually don't use this one anymore because it was making Maverick's hair like lighter because it says whitening and so it turned purple whenever it went on his fur. So we stopped using this one and we got... Just yesterday, we got this one, which is the Burt's Bees for Dogs. It's soothing shampoo with honeysuckle. And it's 99.7% natural. And this one is 16 ounces. And it's really nice. I like the top because with the top, you can just push on the back and it opens and you spray it out or squirt it out. But with this one, you would have to like flip the top and it kind of hurts your thumb. So, yeah, I didn't like that one as much, but this one's really nice, but it is kind of spendy, so be careful with how often you use it. We wash him about um, every two weeks, so this is going to last him about four months, I think. Anyways, the next thing that we have for him is an extra collar because he's prone to losing his because we'll take him off to put on his shock collar. Um, but we just recently got him a green collar, just a normal green collar, to for him to wear because it's bright, and we don't really take that one off of him ever. But this one's just extra. We will probably keep this one in the pocket of his um of his service dog bag. So we'll probably either they do have little pockets you can sew on, or we'll just clip it on right here because there's a little clip. So that's what we'll do with that. Um, next thing that we have for him are just some of these little treat bones, and he loves these. These are actually really cheap, and um, you can get these at the dollar store, but the ones at the dollar store are really hard for them to chew because they're old, but we get these from Walmart, um, but they do sell them at the dollar store. Um, next thing that we have for our doggy is sleeping medicine. So this is sleeping medicine. He gets two a day. Um, right before bed and it helps him sleep um, also if there's like fireworks going on or you guys are going to go on an airplane or something like that this helps calm them down so we've been using these on him and they were working during 4th of July which was two days ago they worked so well we like lit off fireworks right in front of him and he slept and we're like oh my gosh it was amazing the next thing that we have for him are some doggy poop bags. These ones are actually kind of messed up. I'll roll this one back up. This We have a green one, an orange one, a purple one, and a yellow one. They're just out. They say out on them. New easy open bags. We got them from Walmart, but 
we take one in our pocket every time we leave. Um, we also have this mini roll that we got a long time ago. It's called Pet All Star. That's the brand. This one's usually the one we grab because it's the smallest roll and it fits the best in your pocket. The next thing that we have for Maverick is these dental sticks. They're dental sticks and it helps their breath not stink as bad and it's good for their teeth. Um, they come in here. So they come in big strips like this. But you're not going to give them that whole thing. What you do is you just take it and you, if I can, someone's been leaving the bag open so it's harder to break them apart. Um, they break apart like this and then they like bend in half pretty easily to snap but I don't want to break it. Yeah, but I'm going to zip up this bag because somebody's been leaving it open and it's been hard to break them apart. Um, I get to give him these two treats, these two kinds, and my twin Sydney gets to give him the dental sticks. Sometimes we'll switch jobs. Next thing that we have for Maverick is this bag. So in this bag, we have graham crackers, which were for me. Um, and then in the very bottom, we just have itty bitty treats. I'll grab one out. Just itty bitty little treats. I'm not sure what brand these are, but what we did is we just took a husky dog training bag. Here, I'll pull it all out. But we just took one of these husky dog training bags and put it in this purse, which fits it perfect, but this is what it is, and it has this. But um, this doesn't always fit on my pants, on the thickness of my pants, so I put it in this bag so it didn't do that. Sorry, there's dog fur all over this stuff. It's flying everywhere, and a piece just got in my eye. Okay, that's good. Nice thing about this is you can close it up. I've had an incident a few times where I'll leave this pouch, this pouch in the back of the car right next to his kennel, and we'll let him out of his kennel just to have a break out of his kennel in the back of the car, and he'll eat all of it because the pouch falls over. But the nice thing about this is it zips now. So it doesn't do that. But that's really nice. Um, next thing that we have is an old collar of his. It's really old. Yeah, just an old collar. Um, next thing is we have another one of these small rolls of poop bags. Another one of those. And then we have his mini naturals these are good for training we use these if we need him to obey really well because those other treats aren't his favorite um but he always obeys with these ones these are, are the mini naturals and i'll show you what they look like we have quite a few left and on them it says fuel the love and um yeah they're really cool sorry i have family over right now so, yeah, they haven't been working too well. But, yeah, she just came in to grab the, they have, I have no idea what I just said. They have been working really well. If I said they haven't, that is completely wrong. I I just spaced out. I was thinking about my sister needing to leave the room. But the next thing that we have for him is the most cutest thing. I think it's so cute. I made this for him, and it's a, the collar of a real shirt. My dad gave me the shirt to use. And you take it around. So you put their real collar. So I'll show you with this old collar. So what you do is you take your collar. And you undo it. This is kind of hard to show. Let me see if I can. Nope, can't. Okay. I'll just lift up my knees a little bit. So you put the collar in it. Then you're going to... Fold it over like so, and then you're gonna you're gonna take it like this, and you're gonna buckle it. Oh, there he is! Hi, bud. He probably smells all the treats everywhere. This is my doggy. His name is Maverick. Okay, so he's gonna be learning how to shake. Anyways, here I'll undo this again. 
so I can show you. Um, so you're going to put it on your doggy, and once you're ready to put that on them, you put it like this and clip it. This collar is a little bit too short right now for that because he used this one when he was little. But, whoop, my camera just fell. Um, but it will be like this. But if he just wears it normally, it is so cute. It's just like a little collar of a shirt. And he wears it, and it's so adorable. This camera does not give it justice. Maybe at the end I'll post a picture of him wearing it. Um, I'm going to use this on him with his um, three-month-old picture because he's so cute. He's very cute. <laughs> yeah. Look how adorable that is. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, um, and then the next two things that we have, or the last two things that we have, are, or actually, we, ha we have more stuff in there. So I'll show you the stuff in there. We have two different types of brushes. So here's the first brush that we have. This side is the one we use most frequently on him. It's just little bristles everywhere. And there's dog fur because we brushed him today. He, he hasn't been brushed in a little while. And then it has the pegs, which is the same as this brush, which we'll use when his hair gets a little bit longer. But for right now, this one's been working really well. So what I do when this happens is I take this brush and I brush through this brush and it pulls out all the fur. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that's how I clean it. But yeah, that doesn't matter. This is how much hair I just got out of it. It's kind of gross. But I'm going to hop right into the kitchen so I can show you everything else that we have for him. Oh, and I forgot, the last thing that we have for him is we keep his food in an old tidy cats bin because it just opens from the top. If I can get it open, and then we just have a scoop in there. But we washed it out first with soapy water. And every time we get him a new bag of food, he's actually out right now. We have to go tonight to get him some more food. But every time he's out, we just refill the tidy cats bin. So the next thing that we have for him is we have this little toy. Sid, watch out. Oh. It has this little remote and then that little... This little car right there. And he chases it at the park and it's really funny. Next thing we have for him is his giant kennel. This is his big kennel. And then next we have some torpedoes right here. Just for fun. Um, we also have his Zooks Mini Naturals out here. And then he also likes the Temptations. So we sometimes give him some of those. Right now we're out of dog food. So we've been giving him some kitty food. So this is the kitty food we have for him. And then this is his food bowl. It's so cool. So what it does is it pops can show you. It pops up from the bottom. Of course he's going to come over and eat right now. It pops up into itself. Don't step on me, Maverick. Don't step on me! So if you want to give them less food or water, it pops up into itself like this. Here's his food. I'm going to do that with it because he's running out of food. And this is also good for dogs. Sit quiet. This is also good for dogs who are having trouble reaching the bottom of their bowl because this, um, when it's full with food, it's down in the bottom and they can reach it. But once it's not so full, it's like this. And so they can reach it a lot better. Yeah. Cool, right? Maverick, come here. Good boy. This is my Maverick buddy. I know he's showing his teeth. That's just because he's hyper. Hi. Hi. He's a German Shepherd, so he's wearing his green collar right now. Um, I was working with it on, on him earlier, and I couldn't get him to do it. But anyways, guys, here's my outro.
thank you for watching this video. I hope you will watch my next one. I hope you liked it. And if you did, subscribe and comment down below. And that was my spiel. Bye, guys.